Oh, I didn't fix the bot command. Hold on, everyone. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back. I was like, I knew I was forgetting to do something. Okay, hold on. Moobot. I'll make it say we're building a vacation rental in Sulani. Sure. Sure. Hi. Who's ready to build? <laughs> we haven't built a, a beach house in a while, so I thought we could try and do one of those today. That's my plan, at least. Also, Brooklyn with the 18 months, Quentin with the tier 2, 37 months, Louise with the 19 months. Thank you all so much. I don't think I'll have any pack restrictions, Jenny. I'll probably try and use mostly just island living, though. But if I feel so inclined to, I don't know, use something else, then so be it. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll try not to use like 50 packs, though, I swear. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Uh, Megan, Coco, Crispy, and Lady, and Lucky, and Allie, and Ashley, and oh my gosh, Brooklyn, Princess, Staple, Dolly, thank you all for the subs. Okay, I've got my game up and I'm ready. Like, I've been ready <laughs> for this. Uh, I'm kind of excited to build today. I've been wanting to do this since Valentine's Day, um, except now it's March 2nd. So, I'm a little late to my own party <laughs> with, with the build idea, but <laughs> I've literally been meaning to do this for like two weeks, so... <laughs> Um, it is about time. Okay, I've got a second OBS open so I can record it if you want to post it on YouTube too. I was thinking though that we'd build some sort of beach house vibes. Um, probably not a very big one because I'm thinking it'd be like a vacation rental. I would like for like my sims to stay in it as like a honeymoon vacation rental kind of thing. Um, so it'd probably like one bedroom but like a really nice bathroom. Like, you know, one of those sort of things. Um, like a luxur luxurious <laughs> vacation spot for a couple. Well, maybe you'll have like a hot tub. I don't know. And I was looking at this lot in particular as the idea for it. Um, so I think this is where I want to build. But we'll see. We'll see. But I just like this lot a lot. I think it's really pretty. It's kind of on like a mini private island too. It's not really a private island because there's, you know, <laughs> people right here. But it's kind of like a little mini, I don't know, it's just nice. A budget? Um, I don't know. Let me go see, wait, let me, let me think about this. Cause I don't really remember how much stuff costs per night, like what the line is. So how much are the expensive ones in here? 519 per day, 602 per day. How much does this lot cost? I don't think I'll do a budget, but it would be nice to know what we're getting into. I don't think I'll use a budget. This is Christine's fault, by the way. She's the one who brought it up. But I'm just gonna see. How much is, how much are you worth? 61,000. Yeah. I don't know what a budget is, and I'm not interested in having one. <laughs> I'm not interested in that. <laughs> it's only gonna be one bedroom, so it probably won't be that expensive anyway. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Liz, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, by the way. Oh my goodness. Um, and Ren, and Gracie, and Ozzy, and Breen, and Colleen, and Kona, and Garden, Mara, Clara, Braley, Kat, uh, Boombox, and Nervous. Thank you all so much. Okay. Um, let me delete this. Do you think this would be a good spot to build the house, though? I guess there isn't really a lot of beach, like, in the front. But... Oh, this will be plenty big. This will be plenty big, I think. We can do it here. This should work. The lighting's not the best, but <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Jan, Alex, Jim, and Blossom, and 13, and Arthi, thank you all for the subs, too. Um, I'm excited about this, though. Also, I mean, one of my sims is going to be getting married soon for my legacy challenge, Baby Bell. So maybe we could use this. This will be good. Also, Katzi, hi, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Um, am I gonna post this on YouTube? Probably, Raptor. I post most of the builds that we do on stream on YouTube. I have kind of a backlog of them, so I don't know when I'll post it on YouTube. <laughs> but at some point in the next month or so, probably I'll put it up on YouTube. Um, I sort of have like a, I sit on some of my speed builds until I feel like recording the voiceover for them, <laughs> so. Um, that's, that's kind of the thing. But anyway, we're gonna build a new crest tomorrow, Douglas. Um, 
people, you know what? People keep asking the last two times that I've built on stream. Well, no, because I, I last all I did was actually a new crest build. But the, before that, they were like, why did you stop building a new crest? And I was like, I did one build that wasn't a new crest. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> we're doing one tomorrow for new crest, so don't worry. Um, we haven't like <laughs> stopped building in it. <laughs> Uh, but obviously, you know, sometimes I want to build something in Sulani or whatever. Um, so anyway. Cassandra, Chuckles, and Lovebug, and Empress, thank you for the subs. Crayon as well, and Jan, thank you so much, everybody. Um, but yeah, Tay, I probably should. I probably should. Um, I don't really know what I want this house to look like yet. Um, what happened in Newcrest? Are you joking? Or did you, like, come in two seconds ago and you didn't hear me say it? <laughs> I literally... <laughs> This is what I mean. I, we're building a new crest tomorrow. So <laughs> now that I've, I've decided to work on this project, I can't build anywhere else. <laughs> um, but anyway, I just wanted to build like a, a beachy sort of vibe. Again, I don't really know what I want the style to be like yet. I do know that I really want it to be like on kind of high stilts. And then maybe we could do like some some layering. Obviously, it won't be exactly like this, but I kind of want to do something like this um, with the entryway. I don't know. I just, I love when houses have like really tall stilts like this, especially because when it's literally on the water, it probably would <laughs> in real life, you know? Um, so that's kind of the, the vibe that I was thinking. I don't really know what it's going to look like otherwise. So um, why I never posted any of the pots legacy house we built to my YouTube channel? I've posted every single one of them, Matt. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I posted one of them yesterday. <laughs> I've posted every single, I've posted two purple speed builds for the Not So Very Challenge on my YouTube channel now. Um, okay. Anyway. Um, I think, I don't know. I don't know what I want it to look like. This might be one of those bulldozing builds, you know? Like where I build it and then change my mind and then we have to bulldoze it and build it again. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. I do know, okay, I've been thinking a little bit about color scheme, and I think I want it to be, like, a lot of white and wood. But the island living, I really like, like, these sort of wood colors. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, though. I don't know. I'm stalling. I'm stalling. Can you tell? Ah! <laughs> and that pretty, and, and, uh, Juan and Christine and Stocky and P Wood and PG and Corchy and Cassandra, thank you all so much for the subs and stuff. Um, okay, who is this for? It's just for fun, Firecracker. It's for me is who it's for. <laughs> I want to have one, so I'm, I'm going to build it so that I can have a house to play in. I don't know. If I want to go on a honeymoon, then so be it. The curse of the blank lot calls it causing build block? Yeah, maybe. Are you doing island living vibes or modern vibes? I don't think I'm going to do island living vibes. I think I'm going to do more modern vibes, but use like some of the island living windows and, and wood flooring. You know, like this vibe, but probably like slightly more modern house, but I'm allowed to change my mind. Will I put it on the gallery? Yeah, friend, Linda, just so you guys know, I always get these questions every time we do a build. I always put it on the gallery every single time. So no need to worry about that. <laughs> I always put it on the gallery. So it will be up on the gallery. Obviously not until I'm done. Sometimes people want me to upload it unfurnished and I'm like, but I'm going to furnish it in the next two hours. So I'll probably post it in two hours <laughs> when it is furnished, <laughs> you know, but I always put it on the gallery um, as soon as it's done. Um, also for Stephanie and MX and Jen and Nit and Alex and uh, Pants and Dottie and, and Lucy, Duda, uh, Neighbor Dan, thank you all for the subs and stuff. Okay. Okay. No, we're not going to do any budget uh, restrictions, Millie. People were asking about this earlier. We're not going to do any budget things. And I'm not going to use, like, every pack in the world, but um, I'm not going to limit packs or anything. So we'll see. We shall see. Okay. Um, with that, shall we perhaps begin? I don't know. Samella, <laughs> K-Money, and Matt, thank you for the subs, too. What was in the gallery? I know, Kaylin. Isn't it so beautiful? Look at all the hard work that I put into this lot. Oh, you can see the beach nearby. We should build a beach too. Okay, anyway, let's build. Let's build. All I know is I want a really high foundation. So let's start there. <laughs> let's start there with the foundation and then go from there. Yeah. Um, I also want it to be kind of back into the lot because I want to use some of the beach for myself. Um, 
for like us to have, I don't know, pretty things and stuff. How many rooms? Well, it's probably only gonna be uh, like a one bedroom house because it's gonna be like a honeymoon sort of vibe. So I'm imagining like just a couple staying here. Um, so it probably won't be like a super big house, you know? Um, just because it'll be more useful. Small space, private space, you know? Okay, this is what I wanted though. This kind of thing. I just think that's so cool. Probably smaller though. Do I want it to be three wide? I don't really know what I want it to look like yet. This is the thing. I'm kind of just experimenting a little here. Maybe it needs to have like more of a, a million different woohoo spots. Maybe we can put like a hot tub and a, <laughs> we'll just put everything. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know what it's gonna look like though. Literally all I know is that I wanted to do this. <laughs> I didn't think much farther ahead than this. <laughs> Scorpio, Amanda, and Emily, and Phil, and Alphabet, and Jesse, and Wise, and Chad, and Crazy. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, should have made it wide enough for a beach. What do you mean? Bench. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not done with it. We're going to move it around on the lot and stuff, just so you know. It's not like it's finished. Um, okay. Dumpster on an ocean lot. God, could you imagine? We put every single woohoo spot, including a dumpster, <laughs> even though it's a, <laughs> even though it's meant to be a, a beach house, it's literally on the beach and we're like, yeah, we can put a dumpster in. What's wrong with that? Having a, a dumpster at the beach. <laughs> sure, that's a great idea, right, everybody? <sighs> no, no, no. <laughs> can leak into the ocean and everything, you know? Okay. Oh my God. These type of foundations are so annoying. This is one of those times where I'm like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have used it. <laughs> um, but we'll see. I wanna do a lot of like, we could probably do some like tiered back of the house too, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, maybe some glass. Probably gonna be a second floor. I don't know if this is what I want or not. So bear with me everyone while I figure it out, okay? It's all about experimenting. Uh, what was I using? This one? That is a, a lot of glass, but glass is kind of cool. Maybe. Maybe. Perhaps it could be skinnier. Doesn't have to be very big. Cause like, again, it's only gonna be a couple bedrooms. So, <laughs> Cora, Jamie, Grace, Lava, Mo. I mean one bedroom, not even a couple. Uh, skylight, yeah, that kind of thing would be fun. We can try and add in something like that. I like that plan. That'll be cool. Um, loft vibe. Oh, that would be really cool too if it was like open on the second floor or something. You might be onto something with that. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Maybe that could be a balcony up there. And perhaps it could be like that part open to the first floor and this will be the second. I don't know. I don't know. We could probably do a lot of like little balcony sort of patio space, you know? Cause that would be a really nice touch to have little sitting areas. Balconies are romantic, exactly. We can have an outdoor kitchen, I like that. We're gonna do a lot in the back, I think. So that'll be good. Bunny, Anxious, Monty, and Laura, thank you for the subs. Cora with the 1100 bits. Happy birthday, friend. I, I really appreciate you and thank you for the bits. Uh, Missy, thank you for the sub too. Okay. Yeah, I was wanting to put in a hot tub. That was kind of my um, my thought with it too, was that we could have a hot tub. Oh, cool. 
see the foundations are so weird. <laughs> The foundations are so, so, so weird. Can the Sim have pet dogs? Well, I was, I guess I hadn't really thought about that. Cause in my head I was, oh, maybe we could put the boat over here. In my head I was just making this as a vacation rental. So I wasn't thinking about the Sim having any pets, but I suppose that could be kind of cool if they had some. Um, a lot higher up than that. Oh my. Okay. Is that what I had before? Yeah, it's four. High. Okay. Hmm. Maybe the outdoor kitchen that we talked about could be like around this way. I guess maybe I should make it a little bit wider then. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Where can we fit in a moat? My God, could you imagine? Unfortunately, you can't do, oh, wow. Unfortunately, you can't do any terrain manipulation on this type of lot. I know it's devastating, absolutely devastating, but we'll try and make do. But imagine if there was like a really cool outdoor kitchen that kind of went around like this, and then there was like a bar. Um, I don't know which one, but just to give you an idea of what I'm thinking, like it would sort of wrap around like that. That would be cool, right? Um, maybe I could, like, the ocean is the moat. Fair enough, you're right there. I wasn't thinking about doing this, but maybe we could. Maybe we could put the hot tub over here. Build it in somehow. I don't really know what the back's gonna look like yet. <laughs> Clearly I have not, um, I've not gotten to that part. You got into your dream college? That's so exciting, friend, that's awesome. Also Ari and Mochella. Um, your Sims daughter just won, won the lottery? Could you? Oh my god! That's so funny, you moved her out yesterday and she won the lottery? I'm sorry that... That... That didn't happen to you. <laughs> as soon as you moved your Sim out, they won the lottery? I haven't had a Sim win the lottery that I actually know in a long time. It's kind of rude of them to do that, honestly. <laughs> Move her back in, maybe? <laughs> No, I don't actually want all that money, to be honest. Um, <laughs> Tori and Wise Carly, thank you for the subs too. Do I have room for a fake pool? I was kind of thinking about that too, because in the past when I've done these, um, I've made like something like this. The problem is I think it's a little bit high for us to do that. I could probably lower it down a little bit more, but I've done stuff like this and tried to make like a fake pool in the middle of the um, the water. And I think it, it, it does look kind of cool, but I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it makes sense. Cause I don't really find myself actually using it when I've done this before. I always have them like go out in the actual ocean, you know? Um, but it does look interesting, so I don't know. Um, Island living, because you'd have to get like, open water ladder. We'd have to get ourselves some of this so that we can get into the pool. I don't know. Because the ocean, the ocean is right there. So like, it looks cool, but maybe we should try and focus on getting like a hot tub and like using up the space that we have for real instead of you know? Oh, wait, before I get into that, let me think about some of the... Because there are some really pretty pergola-type items. There's one from Island Living. We do have this trellis, which is quite nice. But we also have some of the base game ones. And there's one from this pack that's smaller, but it's got, like, fabric? Why am I... Oh, this. I don't know if I like this one that much for what we're trying to do. 
Although that blue color is really nice. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty good, to be honest. <laughs> that actually looks really cool. Okay, maybe we could try and build this out a little bit so that there's like a... Almost like a little walkway of sorts. And then it goes out to the... I don't know, is that cool or is it weird? I like how it's right up on the edge though. I kind of like it. Then we'd have to think about how we want to do the rest of this though. I don't know yet. Imagine you're just hanging out in the hot tub and you're looking at this. <laughs> Freedith and, and two and Comfy and Spaghetti and Tori, thank you for the subs. Put a half wall at the back. Well, we could definitely put half walls around it. It's just a question of um, what we want it to look like once we have it all built in. I don't know. We'll see. I think right now I'm mostly just trying to figure out the like general... <laughs> General, <laughs> general and generic combined. I'm trying to figure out like the general layout of what I want it to look like, and then we can do like the actual details and stuff, you know. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I said that. <laughs> yeah, we're 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 like conceptualizing, you know. That's kind of where we're at right now, at least. Um, I don't know. Maybe I will build the kitchen in so I can figure out what's going to go around it, though. Let's pick a bar. Um, we do have an island living bar, but I don't really want to use that one. This is difficult because I really like the island living counters and I would like to use them. Although I guess that is a bit of a darker wood than I really want. I don't know. Maybe if we did it in white and then we put a white bar with it, it would all blend in. We'll see. We will see. Um, half fall at the back of the counter? Well, we'll get there. We just haven't decided what we're going to put back there yet. So give us a sec, you know. Um, why am I filtering by that? I wanted to go by color. White. Because there are some... Like, this one is, it kind of looks like wood, <laughs> you know, like, that might work. Um, and then, hold on. Obviously, we could use a different counter. I just like the Island Living one, so I'm trying to think about ways that we can incorporate it. But maybe that looks bad. Maybe we could use the, what if we use these counters? You know? We do have a lot of swatches of them. Although I don't really like the metal. Never mind. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I take that back. I Maybe I will use these. These are a more clean, modern way. <laughs> I'm also going to put a grill there, I think. So I'll probably do that. Okay, then we can get a bar. See, that's a safer bet. Yeah, much safer bet. Okay, grill. This one is so pretty, but I don't know if it comes in like, why doesn't it have a color that matches better? Cause like, I don't really like the stone counter. That's why I always use this one. Cause this one is like way more simple, you know? You know? Um, we can have a sink. We can put a half wall back here so that you can't see the grill part looking weird. I think that's so cool, honestly. I don't know if I want to build it in completely. Maybe I will. 
It looks kind of good. Right? We can have some pretty bar stools. Okay. <laughs> Kelly, Francisco, Blueberry, Zoe, Sophie, Laura, Byron, thank you for the subs. Okay. Um, now we haven't thought about the shape of the building at all yet, so uh, that is another thing that we have to worry about. The barbecues are so far forward because when they open them, the lid clips into the wall. If you like, they have it like that far forward so the lid doesn't clip. If you put it like all the way back, the lid clips when they open it, but it won't clip here because it is opening into nothing. Which is lucky, I guess. Um, island living. I haven't saved my game yet. We haven't made that much progress, but it, you know. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, right? <laughs> okay, island living, what do we got? Um, oh. Oh, I did not make this a good size, did I? I did not. Don't do that. I don't really know how I want to go about this, to be honest. Like, I don't really know what I'm doing. A drawer that's open, maybe? I guess that's an idea. This one is a little bit more, um, I don't know, it's a slightly different vibe. It's also really tight to that. Maybe we could do it over here and I could expand this out a little. You know, because I don't really like how it is so tight with this. This is probably for the best anyway. Can move the outdoor kitchen next to the hot tub. Oh, I wanted it to be kind of next to the house. That's why I had put it over here. Um, you know what, honestly, these things from the Desert Lux kit might be kind of nice. We could probably use a lot of the Desert Lux kit stuff out here. Um, okay. Interesting thought. Do I want to have the staircase be like, I don't know. Maybe a door to the kitchen. Well, we're going to put doors and windows over there. We just haven't done it yet, you know? Um, don't worry. <laughs> right now, again, is mostly just about like layout. We're just trying to figure out where everything is going to go. And then from there, we can think about like, I don't like that. Now this is bugging me though. Uh oh. But from there we can work on like the actual... Can I make the stair even with a sliding door? Friend, it is! So I don't know what you're asking. <laughs> it is! Um, okay. Let's see. Should I have windows by the kitchen? We are, we just haven't done anything yet. <laughs> Guys, okay, one second, one step at a time, all right? <laughs> we haven't put any windows in anywhere yet. I don't even know if I want to use this door, you know, like, um, it's very much still a work in progress, right? Um, okay. I think then even with the opening of the door, I don't, you want me to make it smaller? I don't understand the question. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, building on streams always kind of hard when you first start out because uh, I'm still trying to get started and everybody's like, this is weird. And I'm like, I know, I haven't done it yet. So <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Just wait. Um, okay. I feel like I don't really know how exactly I want to do this yet. Um, I feel like, do you know that thing from the Desert Lux kit? I wonder if maybe, oh, now I'm wondering if I should try and make this whole thing smaller just so I can use this. Cause this could be kind of cool or maybe, wait, is it like the exact right size to go across this way? Ooh. Maybe I could try and put it over here, but then have like columns holding it up. Wait. 
Wait a minute. That might be interesting. You know? We just gotta think about how to support it, because a lot of the columns are gonna be like not the exact right color. Does the snowy escape one come in a color like this? No. <laughs> no, because that would be too easy. I could do a lighter wood, I guess. Magic, it floats with magic. Yeah. <laughs> Basically does, huh? Um, I mean, that looks like it's supported, right? I don't really like the window situation, though. I'm kind of... Kind of unsure about... <laughs> all the rest of it. <laughs> the answer is actually 23 months. Um... I don't know. Give me time. We want to have a lot of windows in the back of this building is the thing, because that's how we have, like, all the pretty lighting from the inside. Maybe there could be a door. Oh, I can put another column over here, yeah. I forgot about that. Desert Lux windows? Yeah, Desert Lux has a lot of good windows. Well, it has one good window. <laughs> I guess we could use all the Desert Lux windows if we wanted to. I hadn't really thought about that either. What do we think about? The thing is, I want to have like lots of glass. And that's not really screaming like glass, you know? I like that door though. I don't know if I like that or not. Let me look at the Snowy Escape ones, because Snowy Escape has some good sized windows. We could do like a little thing like this. And then I could have a door right here. And that would be pretty, because then there's like, you know, a nice view. Okay. I think that's pretty, and it matches the columns. <laughs> Perfect, Avalanche Dancer Astro, thank you for the subs. Then we want to get a door that has some glass in it, too. Not that we need two doors, but... I mean, we could have two doors. <laughs> this isn't Sulani, because you can tell because it's over the water. Tortosa doesn't have any, like, on the water lots like this. Um... I don't know. I think the three windows looks cute, but I just don't know what to do about the top. No, stop doing that. Because those are like... Does Snowy Escape have a full length one? No. See, I don't know if I like that or not. But maybe I do. I guess that's nice. One high platform awning all around the main block. I guess I could do that, yeah. I don't know. Um, I do like this. Unsure about like all of the shape that's happening over here. I wonder if we tried to get like, I don't know how I'm gonna roof this either. Like if I'm gonna use platforms to do the roofs or not. Um, but I think I might use platforms to do some roof stuff. So, we shall see. If we do platform stuff, we can kind of like split level it a little bit. I guess those aren't gonna be... Maybe I could have this be a balcony over here. I don't really want it to be on top of this, because I don't like how it would look if there was, like, 
I don't, the balcony on top of that wall. I don't, or on top of that window door thingy. I don't really think I like how that's gonna look. But, I don't know. I think that's okay. Hmm. Okay. I guess the question is now, do we wanna put, cause I could use this again on top of this, but is that like so much or is it cool? Cause there's a lot of wood. I don't know. I don't know. How big is this? Ooh. I want that island living floor thingy. What is it called? There's like a little glass floor window. <laughs> this. Yes. That's cool. That is cool. Okay. Um, I think I like the vibes of that. What is that item's name? Um, it's called Crystal Clear. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Freaking out what shared. Thank you for the subs, by the way. Um, okay. What front door are we gonna use? <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Um. Hmm. Not thought through, was it? No, it wasn't. You think the Get Famous one? I don't know, does that fit the style of this? I don't think it does. Um, would a skylight on the second floor be too much skylight? I think I might put something up there, I don't know. I don't know. I wish that that came with like wood on it. How about this one? <laughs> Could you imagine? Um, I don't know. I think it needs to be a double door, but I guess the front door could also be here. I was just imagining it being here. So we could get away with a bigger thing. I just, I kind of wanted it to be, which is why I don't really want it to be like fully too wide. Oh no. I don't think I thought this through very well. Um. Desert Luxe Kit door? Does, isn't that like not really the right color? I mean, you're thinking about this one obviously, but this is the Courtyard Oasis one. I, this one won't fit here, so we can't use that. That's why I picked this one, because... Do you know what? This door is so nice. I should do a build with that. Eco door. The Eco Lifestyle one's too big. That's why I'm trying to avoid using it. Um, this one obviously is like kind of, I don't know. I don't really like that it has the um, the metal either. But that, I guess that might look okay there. If I did it over here. Island living doors. I don't, there's only one that I would use for that. And this one is a little bit more like, I guess it's more beachy, but that's maybe okay. Maybe I, maybe I do like that one. Hmm. Could be a renovated build, that's true. We could have some old touches on a renovated house, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know. In a fun color. I don't think that I, I would prefer it if, um, I don't know, I just don't really like the, the way the colors are on this door. I'm not sure. I feel like this game is lacking the kind of statement doors that I want. Do you know what I mean by that? Like, I don't really like that, the way that that blue looks. I did like how this one had like the sort of grayish 
color to it. So maybe I could use this. I don't know. Because that gives like an extra color, which is nice. I just always use that door. That's why I'm like trying to not, because I feel like I've used that door so many times. <laughs> I use that door all the time when I make a modern build. I just like it, so I always use it. <sighs> Perhaps to a fault. <laughs> <laughs> Capricorn, Lifeguard, Kimberly, Thea, and Freedom, and Tina, and Love, and Archive, and Let's Go Lesbians, and Leah, and Chan. Thank you all for the subs. Um, okay. The eco door that has different eco lifestyle door. Let's see. Um, do you mean these one? This one? What did you say? Like no glass, two tiles? Yeah, this one I guess is kind of cool. It's sort of a different color. I think I prefer the glass because I like having, no, the wooden one. Oh, this one. Oh, I never used this one. I guess that's interesting. And that would also fit here where I wanted the door to go. That's an interesting door. Huh. It's a cool, it is a cool focal point, isn't it? Well, that's an idea. What would I put above it? I don't know. I don't know. It is interesting. Plants on the wall. Well, I thought about doing plants up the whole wall when I wasn't gonna put the door here, but now I feel like with the door there, it might be weird to have plants just above it for no reason. What about the, um, mm, that won't work. So from get together, the one that has the, I don't know. I don't know. Should I put another one of these? I fear that is too much. <laughs> I fear that is not good. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on, let me get some. Uh... Yeah, if we had like a closed version of this, I wish that they had given us two versions because I feel like that would look so cool. <sighs> Tell us, Sabine and Hiking, thank you for the subs. Mm. I don't know. Could use some of the eco lifestyle wooden slats on the door. Isn't that gonna be too much slats though? Or too many slats? Cause we already have like the slats over here. And then if I start putting slats on the wall, do you think it'll be like excessive? I don't know. Cause that would be a nice idea, but I don't think I'm gonna like how that looks. Cause I just feel like it's gonna be a lot of stuff. We can maybe try and do that as like a little thing in some places. I mean, we could put some over here or something, you know? Maybe not use it everywhere. Finds flowers from romantic garden. Hmm. What do we have? Are we talking about actual plants or these ones? You know what? I always forget about these. These are really nice. I need to think of a way to use those. Obviously not here, but just in general. <laughs> just in general, this would be a nice thing to use somewhere. Um, okay, I don't know. I don't know. I'm struggling. The wall plant one, yeah. I feel like I want to have like green, I think, but I don't really like most of these. The texture of this has always bugged me so much. I have never used this because the texture of it, I think is the silliest thing I've ever seen. It comes in green. Oh, is there a green swatch of it? 
Romantic garden. Oh, I forgot about that. It feels very eco home all of a sudden. Do you know what I mean by that? I can't tell. It is pretty. But still does not. I don't know. Could I extend the platform over the door? I mean, I could, but I kind of, I wanted to keep it to have some dimension just there on the side. What about Snowy Escape? We do have like this little window. Which maybe we could have there be like a... Oh, I hate that. Maybe there could be like a bathroom there or something. <laughs> no, I don't like it. I don't know. Flip the door window so you can do full wall of greenery. You want me to put it back over here again? I don't know. I'm, this is, I, I, the problem is I don't even know what I want. So everybody's like obviously offering suggestions and I'm like, mm, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> over and over again. I feel like I do this too much as well. This sort of vibe is such a like default choice of mine. What if I try to make my own version of this? Wait. Can I come back to it? I don't know, because I, I do think that we need to, um, no pressure, but I do think that sort of urgently it would be smart to figure out what the house is gonna look like. <laughs> and we can't really do that without doing the front door, so. <laughs> it, would, it would probably be in our best interest to, um, figure out the front door. I think that's too much, but. Um, I don't know how to do this without it like clipping into the inside too much. I don't think I like it. I feel like I just do this all the time when I have these weird walls that I don't know what to do with. You know, like I've done this before. I don't know. And obviously we'd have to redo this, like size some of it down to like change the placement of it all and hope that it doesn't clip too much on the inside. Isn't there a wall waterfall? I think that's too fancy, the waterfall. Oh God, oh God. Okay, um, what will I put here? Uh, do you think that I could use the island living door? I just feel like it's gonna be weird having like two doors that are the same but different right next to each other. But I, I really badly want like a closed version of this one. Of course, they're slightly different colors too. Um, I wish that we had like a three wide version of this door on the smaller wall. What there? I guess maybe. I need to figure out how the floor plan's gonna go. That's a lot of windows. Yeah, well, when you live in a place like this, <laughs> the view is the whole reason you're here, isn't it? <laughs> Um, I, I believe that, yes. <laughs> I think that is true. Maybe we could try and do something different. Like, instead of... No, I don't like that. Never mind. Go back to what you had. Or the staircase inside go? Probably like right here. That was kind of what I was picturing. Um, you guys are like seven steps ahead of me. I'm trying, we gotta do one thing at a time, okay? <laughs> uh, but what I was sort of imagining is that there would be um, like a loft upstairs. It would be like that. And there would be a bedroom up there. But then I don't know where the bathroom's gonna go. So maybe it's a bad idea. Who knows? Who knows? It could be like that, I guess. 
And then it still has the opening that I like. Don't know. We shall see. But that's kind of what I was imagining initially, at least. Bathroom downstairs, perhaps? Yeah, but if, I mean, depending on how we do this, there's not really a ton of space for it. Cause there's like lights everywhere. <laughs> or there's uh, windows everywhere, I mean. Um, can I do this with like the skylight again? Oh. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I should do it like not centered, perhaps. That'll be cool. Triangular eco lifestyle one tile windows. Oh, that's an idea. Eco lifestyle has some interesting windows. Do you think that this is like too much? That definitely brings in a lot more of that eco lifestyle vibe than we had originally had. Um, so maybe we could try and do like, well, hold on. Maybe we could do this door over there to like bring the gray over to the other side. I guess that's interesting. There's like none of it on the back, but <laughs> I guess that's interesting. I don't know, what do you think? I don't know. Just Lauren, Laurel, Moss, Moss, thank you for the subs. I think it kind of works. I also, I'm not sure though. I don't know if I like love it. I'm still not sure about like the shape of the door just in general, because I don't know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, grab this. Probably do some white accents up there. Okay. It's, it's subtle. Maybe then the, okay, the kitchen. Also, can I scoot this over so it's like lined up with that? Maybe I'll, maybe I will do that. Lighting. I we'll wanna get some like pretty lights outside, but maybe the, um, oh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so they obviously have the, the bathroom and the, oh no. Not thought through, not thought through. Alarm, alarm. <laughs> Doesn't really work the way I wanted it to. Oops. Okay, maybe this could be further back. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, because you can walk back farther to the front door. That would be fine. And then... Hold on, hold on. And maybe we should... I feel like we need another bathroom. <laughs> I wanted to have like a big bathroom that had like a huge bathtub and stuff. Like part of me wants to have... Honestly, if we hadn't done the door there, we could have had like this whole thing be the bathroom. Maybe the staircase could move. And maybe we could have like a giant bathroom there. Can you go? Oh no. So there could be a giant bathroom. Snap, I can't see. We have to focus. Okay, maybe there could be like Why can I not? Maybe there isn't one there? I don't know. 
Did it delete? Oh, maybe it did delete because I expanded it. Outdoor shower? Yeah, maybe. I want to have like a huge bathtub and stuff though. I would love to have a huge bathtub. I think that would be so nice. Um, well, I guess the problem is if we want to have a huge bathroom up here, I think the issue is just that we can't really have the, um, the like loft space, like how we had before. But I would like to have a loft space. <laughs> so that's kind of what I'm struggling with. Um, this might be kind of nice though. This would make sense. And then maybe, maybe the kitchen, no. Oh, that's messed up. Okay, let's think again. <laughs> maybe the kitchen could be like over here underneath this big wall. Um, there could be a dining table, a small- there's not a lot of space for a living room. Bathroom and tub could be downstairs. That's what I was originally thinking this would be. Um, this big room could be the bathroom and tub. But, um, then you can't have this be lofted. <laughs> because then it's gonna be looking into the bathroom from the second floor and that's kind of weird. <laughs> Allison, Kaysen, and Destroyer, and Meeps, and Decolored, and Ace, thank you for the for the resubs and stuff. Did I see your suggestion? No, I didn't, Christine. Hold on. If I move the balcony and the front door back to where it was, you could make the bathroom line up with the balcony. I guess that's true. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I want to do it. Why are you... Okay. Can't they cook outside? Well, we need to, I want to have a fridge and stuff. This is supposed to be like a really, really fancy house. So like outdoor kitchen with grill isn't the same as indoor kitchen with fancy space. Loft it on the other side. Well, this is so it has the view. So I don't really want to loft it on the other side. You know? Cause I like, Curl the stairs in front of the triangle windows. I guess we could maybe do something like that. Hold on. Hold on. They could still see though. Yeah, guys, I'm just telling you I don't want to loft it on that side, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is way harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, okay. Okay. That's so annoying how it like... I don't know. It's just annoying. Front door on the side. I don't think I want it to be on the side. I like how it looks from the front. I mean, this would be cool. That would be cool. Okay. I will steal that. There could be two bathrooms this way. Potentially. If we want there to be. Which could be nice. Right? Yeah? Okay. This could work. I think I like this layout. I do think that I, I honestly might scoot this over again. I know this is like not the way that people were telling me to scoot it, but <laughs> I could scoot it back again. Um, and then it would line up with this and there would be like more space with the stairs. I think that's cool. Two bathrooms is fancy. You know what? It's supposed to be like a luxurious rental home. So having two luxurious bathrooms, one to get into when you come inside from swimming and the other one for the middle of the night. That's good, right? Okay, good. <laughs> it took us a while, but we got there. Maddie, Alex with a tier three, 28 months, and Kat and Jay and E, thank you for the subs. Okay. Um, I might use the 
island living counters inside. Because I felt like I couldn't use them outside. Maybe I'll use them in here. Oh. A little bit bigger than I wanted. Please do an outdoor bathroom. I feel like I didn't plan for that enough, Jess. Um, obviously people are saying to do that now, but I feel like if I was gonna do an outdoor bathroom, I should have like set that up as I was building the layout <laughs> of the outside um, instead of like trying to fit it in now that we've finished the shape of stuff, you know? Um, okay. This has potential, I think. I hope. Um, maybe I have to use Dream Home Decorator because I did not like the colors of the other one. Dream Home Decorator is just so good. The shapes are just so nice. The like light countertop and the wood and stuff, it's just so good. Um, is the curtain outside supposed to go through the tub? No, I'm not, it's not, <laughs> no, this is not staying here. <laughs> I did not actually place the, the hot tub in the middle of the room. We haven't done any of that, okay? <laughs> um, I just want to use it. I have, it's not, it's meant to be there. Um, I'm just leaving it there because I want to use it. Um, okay. Okay. Um, is that the right color? Yeah. Should I do like, I don't know. My cat keeps, her tail is like taking up the rest of my mouse pad. I don't have anywhere to put my mouse. <laughs> Snap, you're not helping. Um, honestly, Dream Home Decorator might be kind of good for this. I feel like they're, oh, she did it again. Can you, can you sit on my lap instead of the desk? <laughs> Nicole, thank you for the eight months, and Court with the tier two nine months, and Maddie, thank you all so much. Actually, I think she's helping a lot. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm not loving how the windows are like clipping into the the like counters at all. I like I find that really annoying, to be honest. But, I don't know. Donnie, thank you for the sub too. Okay, maybe I'll put like, fridge. We can use some really nice appliances in here. Maybe I'll put like, should I do the sink in the island? Should we even have an island? This is what I'm not sure about. Should we do like, you know, and then maybe the, Amy, I, I didn't put the Sims 2 music into my game. I'm playing the Sims 2 music on Spotify. <laughs> um, so there's nothing to make a video about. There's not like a tutorial. I'm just playing the Sims 2 music on Spotify. Um, Nothing fancy going on there. It's just on Spotify. <laughs> you liked the island TVH? Yeah, but I feel like it takes up a lot of space. Um, okay. <sighs> There's not gonna be like anywhere good to have the living room that doesn't take up like all the room. Cause these spaces are very skinny. It's very annoying. Um, snap, can you please? I can't focus. <laughs> Josh, thank you for the 31 months. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know where to put it. All of this is annoying. Living rooms and TVs take away the romance of a honeymoon. Well, we want to have a living room. Doesn't have to have a TV, but we want to have a living room. And I feel like there's not a lot of space for the couch. I mean, it could be up against a wall, I guess. It doesn't need to be in the middle of the room. We could always do it like up against the wall and then um, maybe have like two chairs or something. Probably not those chairs, but it could be a sitting area in that sense. 
That could work. Sammy, thank you for the bits. Um, I don't know. Should I do an, a stove? Maybe. Maybe. The snow escape one is nice for this. Ooh, wait, that's kind of cool to be honest. I'm not sure. Okay, she's back in the spot again. <laughs> Steph, I actually can't build. <laughs> I can't use my mouse. She keeps like flicking her tail and it moves the mouse. Oh my goodness. We could just have a table with like two chairs as well. Like we don't need to have um, a big table. It could just be like a little table. Probably not that one, but it could just be like a small table that looks out the window, you know? Um, maybe Snap wants to play The Sims. Have you even asked her? Oh, Snap, did you wanna, did you wanna do the build? Cause if you, if you really want to, I guess you can help. I don't really think I like the wood on that. Maybe I do. I can't tell. Hmm. Who knows? What do you think? I've not, I don't use this wooden fridge really. So. Might be kind of cool. Snowy escape table? Oh, maybe. We've actually used a lot of snowy escape in this build. <laughs> um, snowy escape, snowy escape. Oh, it does have a really nice base to it, doesn't it? That could be nice. And then we could try and use a chair that has like some more, I don't know, something more to it. I want it to be very white and cream in here, if I'm being honest. That's kind of what I'm going for. <laughs> Let the color be from plants and like the ocean, you know? Maybe I'll put some more windows over here. There needs to just be windows everywhere. Cause if you're coming here to stay in this house, like you're staying here cause you want to look at the water and like the, the view and stuff. I wonder if we could get like, for, isn't the base game have like a really nice beachy painting? This one. Okay, sized up too big. Default size too small. Hmm. Are oh, there are debug island living photos, aren't there? Hold on. Caitlin, Ash, thank you for the subs. Show hidden objects. Okay. It's like a fake window. Yeah, maybe. I guess sized up, it is really nice. I just feel like it takes up so much of the space. I don't really like the um the couch underneath it. Oh, I like that swatch better. Okay, well that's one idea. I was gonna look at the things from Island Living cause, oh, I guess these only have black frames though, which is kind of annoying. Doesn't mean we can't use them like above the bed upstairs or something. There's some really nice ones. Like, look at all of these. Hmm. <gasps> Turtle! Oh, we should definitely use some of these paintings in the bathrooms at least. These debug pictures are from Island Living. Uh, they're a collection you can do in Island Living. So, I can't tell if this is too much. <laughs> I feel like it's a little bit too much, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, we can try and make it work. Painting size down maybe, this is it size down. We want like an in-between. I really like it being big, but it's too big. We sort of had this discussion cause I'm not sure what's best, but I do like it. I think it actually looks kind of cool. So it does sort of scream like you're on vacation, like Christine said, so <laughs> it might be a good thing to be honest, uh, who knows. Um, I might try and use like, 
I love the idea of a couple little shelves. Because I think that would be kind of nice. Okay, that's a good kitchen layout, I think. And maybe there could be like a pretty... A window there would bring a natural painting. Yeah, but Fizz, there's windows on every other wall. So I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be different this time and not use a window in every single wall of the build. Obviously we could, but I'm trying to expand a little. Because I feel like I've, I've done a lot with the windows. People are complaining about it already, so. Um, I think I actually kind of like that, to be honest. And then I was thinking that I just got to pick a chair that we want to use, but I sort of thought that it would be nice if we had like two chairs, sort of like a conversation area here. I'm not sure which ones yet, but do I prefer Island Living or Snowy Escape for build by? I don't have, a, I, they're, they're so different. You know, Island Living and Snowy Escape are such different styles. Um, I don't know what I would say my preference is, because they are so different that, like, how does one choose? You know? Because they serve such different purposes for me when I play. I like them both. Um, I feel like I end up using some of the furniture from Snowy Escape in other places. But... I don't know. Conversation place where you ask for a divorce? Could you imagine? They're on their honeymoon. <laughs> They're already getting divorced. Hmm. Yeah, I think I find Snowy Escape a little bit more versatile, but I don't think that means that I like it better. I think I just find it a little bit more versatile. Um... Not sure. It does actually, Christine, you're right. Some of the Island Living stuff matches some of the stuff from high school years pretty well. I've also noticed that. Maybe I'll use the snowy escape table. Do we like that rug? Should I put these chairs like really in the corners? What do we think about that? I feel like that's kind of nice. Oh, we can get some ceiling fans too. You don't like the table? What is there to not like about the table? It's just wood. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I'm sorry that you don't like the table. Um, I like all the wood accents in here. I think it's cool. I like that. Oh. Well, that's really inconvenient. <gasps> she heard me gasp. <laughs> um, okay. I don't like that, but that's okay. We can have a light in the, or the fan in the middle of the skylight. Who cares? Would a fan look good over the outdoor kitchen? Oh, I don't know. We'll have to see if it fits there nicely. It does look like it's mounted in there. So that could be kind of nice, to be honest. Subtle touch. Okay, I like that. I like that. Uh, well, we're gonna need a trash can too. Just put one out so I don't forget it. Okay, let's get some pretty pendants above the kitchen island. I like the ones from Seasons a lot. Whenever I want to do like pretty pendants, I feel like I find myself drawn to these. I might want to bring a sim here so I can change the lighting. Okay, Aurora, Sausage, Julia, Lavender, Pickle, thank you for the subs. All right, let me just get... Thank you. 
Desert kit? Is there lights from it? Are they like single pendants or are they like the big pendants? Because the big pendants I wouldn't really want to use above the island like that. It's not the same. Because the big pendants are pretty, but I, I like the sort of uniform look above the island, I think. Oh, good. Please be sunny. Don't go in there. You aren't allowed in there. You aren't allowed in there. Okay. Go away. Set color and intensity, all lights. There we go. Um, you guys are talking about uh, these lights. Yes. And while they are pretty, they are also not really what I want for above the island. We could probably use them above the table though. I think I would like that. Um, okay. Does an island living have pendant lights? Maybe, but we don't need to use like everything from the pack. I don't know if, oh yeah, these aren't the ones that I would want to use above the table. They aren't as big. Um, okay. I like the lights in there. I could probably get a rug. If I scoot it off, maybe bigger dining table. So we're building a honeymoon house, Sot, which is why I used a tiny dining room table. Obviously, I'm aware that in a, in a nice uh, house, <laughs> you might wanna have a big dining table, but I thought it'd be cute to have just like a two-seater table in front of the window. Um, that was kind of my thought process behind it, was just putting a small one in front of the window for like the couple. Um, cause it might be kind of romantic or whatever, but, um, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let me look at the high school years one. I wonder if I could put like two of them. And if you'd really be able to tell, cause there would be chairs on top of it. <laughs> Uh, do you come in any colors that might seem, mm. I don't know. I mean, it does work. Like you can't really tell that it's two rugs together, but I just don't know if I like it. I kind of like it. It's pretty. Maybe we can get like a pretty plant or something, like a big plant. Not this one, just looking at it. Interesting. The pastel swatch of this? I like the pastel swatch, don't get me wrong, but I don't know if I like it for in here. Um, I think the first swatch was kind of pretty. This one? I think it's too much color. I'm trying to use... <laughs> I'm trying to use less color. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. I'm trying to use less color in here though, I think. Um, I don't know, we'll come back to it because it's stressing me out, so. I need to revisit it after I place more furniture. Okay. Um, I'm feeling good about the vibes in here. I think this is quite nice. Except you're all making me second guess everything I do. <laughs> um, okay. Well, that is not like rug in front of the window. It's also a way bigger rug. Don't like it. Don't like it. Tiny living rug. I don't like the pattern on that one. I've realized that I, f I don't think I like it. Ever since I've been trying to use it more, I've, I've discovered that I, I don't think it's my favorite thing in the world. I mean, it might work, but... I don't know. I can scoot this closer to the window again, which is probably good. That's what I wanted. Everyone suggested like 50 different rugs. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what's best. Um, I do think a little picture would be nice though. 
Okay. Um, let's see about painting these walls. Table at an angle might help. Okay, so I hadn't really considered that because the reason that I was putting just this tiny table um, was because I wanted it to be like right in front of the window. I really liked the idea of it being like, I'm, I, you guys I think are thinking about this in like the scale of the space. I'm thinking about it like I want a table by the window so that they can eat like a romantic dinner and look out the window. Like that was kind of the thought that I had for against like it being close to the wall. Obviously I could like center it in the room or whatever. Um, but I had done that so that way they could have it like by the window. It's for the view, you know? Avocado rug. That's actually interesting. I don't remember what swatches that has. Seasons. When I make a speed build out of this, it's gonna be a nightmare. The speed build is gonna be like, oh, this has way too bold of colors. But the speed build's gonna be a disaster. It's gonna be like, just constantly changing everything over and over and over again. Mm, I don't know if I like it. Go away, go away. Um, let's just start getting some more decorations, yeah? Maybe then it'll all come together more. Okay. I don't think that Island Living has a ton of stuff. Do you know what? I might have been able to use these chairs from Island Living. Although, no. <laughs> I actually like the other one's better. Sorry, false alarm. <laughs> I like them, but I like the other ones better. Um, okay. We're also in debugs. So that's gonna increase what we have. This'll be nice. We could probably use this somewhere. That's a cute touch. Are we limiting packs? No, not really, Roach. I mean, I'm not gonna use like a bajillion packs, but I'm not like actively trying to um, use only one pack or something. Obviously I've used a lot of Snowy Escape and Eco Lifestyle already, so. Um, the fridge is from Snowy Escape, Kitty. Okay. Um. I don't know, like, <laughs> I guess I don't know how much clutter to put, because we have to think about how this is supposed to be, like, a beautiful, clean vacation rental home, you know? So you probably don't want a lot of clutter in here. Like, it needs to be kind of minimal in decor and stuff. Because we don't want it to be too much and then, yeah, like an Airbnb kind of vibe. I don't know, we'll see. Like real estate staging almost. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's one way of describing it. Um, Maybe I could put... Okay, go away. Annoyingly, they're gonna try and like place stuff on these shelves, aren't they? See, I think that that's nice. That comes in a nice color, I don't know. Probably need a coffee and tea station. Yeah, that would be cute too if we had something like that. Some of these are a little bit um, too fancy for me. I don't know. With move objects off, they shouldn't be able to, right? I guess that's a, that's a good point. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, we could put like a pretty drink pitcher over here. Um, that's true, we are in Sulani, so the kava bowl might be kind of nice. Maybe I could put it, like, in the corner somewhere so that you can pull it out and use it. Yeah. Pretend the books are travel guides. That's true. That's a good idea. I like that. Does the coffee machine work with being sized down? Um, maybe. I never thought to size it down before, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, 
My bigger issue is less to do with the size of the coffee machine and more to do with like um, wishing that I could place it not only in the middle of a counter. <laughs> you know, um, that would have that would be nice if I had a little bit more room to place it wherever I desired. <laughs> Um, but it probably would work size down though. Uh, most of the other appliances do, so I think I would be surprised if it didn't, but I guess, who knows? I haven't tested it, so. Yeah, there's a, basically there's this trick that people do to like free place appliances, but I never, I've never tried it in the sense to like see if it functions this way. Um, but people do this, basically they place it on a counter, on an island counter, and then size the island counter down, and then like, alt place the appliance in, so that you can custom place it. But it only works when it's like, center placed, right? You think it works? You, you say it functions when I... It does function, but you need to play test it. Interesting. I don't know if you'll be able to use it where I want to put it. Mm, doesn't work where I want to put it. It works if it's not too far away from the sim. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't really care to like slightly alt place it. I don't even like having coffee machines. Like to me, it's just not, um, I don't know. I just don't like, I find the coffee annoying when they have it. <laughs> so like, I just, I'd almost rather like not have it than, I don't think I want to use those. I think I want to have less decor. But yeah, when they have the coffee, it's like all they ever want to do is drink coffee, and it's so annoying. Maybe I could try and place these up on one of the shelves. Same with the ice cream machine. Like, once they have it, that's all they ever want to do is use it. Um, okay. Shall I place it like that? Oh, that's not high enough. Up one more. Oh. No. Pause, wait. Simsy also doesn't drink coffee, she doesn't understand. I mean, I guess maybe that could be it. Uh, but I just find it annoying in The Sims. <laughs> Um, okay, there we go. That shall do. Okay. Took me long enough, but I got in. I got it. You're a barista and you hate coffee in the Sims. Yeah, it's just because they're, Sims don't know how to act. That's the problem. <laughs> Uh, you made a castle and log in and Ava, thank you for the subs. Okay, what are the shelves from? Those shelves are base game. Okay, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with the walls yet, so I'm just gonna paint them all white first and then see what else we wanna add in after that. I don't know if, like, Mm, island living. Do we want to have like some wood somewhere? I don't know if wood on that wall is like too much or not. But we could maybe do it. I don't know. Maybe it could be behind the bed too. We'll have to see. Okay. I don't know, we can do some pretty curtains up there too. Double high wood in the stairwell. I thought about that, but then I thought maybe it was gonna look weird. We could probably do it there too, to be honest. I think I like that. I also would wanna put like, plain white on this wall so that you don't have to see the in between. Yeah, I think that that's kind of nice. I think that that's a good idea. 
I'm not 100% set on the rugs in here yet, but we'll figure it out. Zach, thank you for the 34 months as well. Okay, this is gonna be one of the bathrooms. There's gonna be two bathrooms in this house. Um, and they're both gonna be really nice. <laughs> I suppose this one maybe doesn't need to have, um, it maybe doesn't need to have a tub in it. Cause we're picturing this as being like the bathroom that they use when they come in from the, the water. And then we could do like a nice romantic bathtub situation upstairs. So maybe it's a shower down here. Yeah. Do we use a tile? I'm not sure. I am not sure. Cause I don't like most of it. Snowy escape open shower or regular? I don't know yet. I did want this bathroom to be inspired by this picture of this turtle. So. Laundry room? You think I should have a laundry room, Mel? It's a, it's like a vacation rental though, you know? So I, that's why I feel like they probably don't need a... Eco lifestyle. Oh, the wood floor from Eco lifestyle that's like kind of tile-like. That's interesting. Doesn't really match that. You think stone floor? Also interesting concept if we did like actually stone. That could be kind of cool though. If there was like real stone in there. Okay. Interesting. I want to get some of the, do you think I should use curtains in here? I think I probably will, to be honest. There's kind of a pretty green color. I like that. Okay, now this house has the Star Wars pack in it. Uh-oh. Oh no, look at this. Wait, oh, this is dangerous. You give little Simsy a kit and all of a sudden, oh, that doesn't really fit the way that I want it to. Maybe I'll do it over here. You give little Simsy a kit and all of a sudden she's using every kit in the game. Okay. Yeah, that's not really gonna fit right, is it? Rotate around. I can't see. No, it doesn't go in the right place. And I don't really have any desire to alt place it because then I have to do it all. Let's come back to that. <laughs> Let's come back to that. I was trying to get the curtain rod thing, which all of a sudden I don't know where it is. So there it is. Thank you. Do we like that? That covered pergola? This is, um, it's called the Deserted Awning and it's from the Desert Lux Kit. Okay, I'll probably have to put the shower in this corner. The question is, do we want it to be an open shower like discussed? Because some people in chat thought that was kind of a cool idea. I agree, it's kind of a cool idea. Problem, you can't woohoo in, um, that shower it has to be closed for it to be woohooable, uh, which is kind of annoying, but is how it works. <laughs> um, and this is like supposed to be a honeymoon place. Not that that means everything has to be woohooable, but that is a, a thought that has crossed my mind. Um, outdoor shower instead. The outdoor shower counts as one of the open showers, doesn't it? That you can't woohoo in. Think the rod's the wrong swatch? It's not, Barley, actually. Um, the lighting just sucks in this game. So, um, oh, that is actually, it's that's white and not gray. Maybe it is the wrong swatch. 
I think it's still gonna look weird though. Oh no, it was the wrong swatch. Okay, sorry, I thought it was just a lighting glitch because I'm so used to it in The Sims. You're right, you win. Hmm, interesting. An open shower next to the toilet, we can't. Well, I'm not I'm not necessarily gonna use it. And also I haven't put anything for real yet. <laughs> it's a bathroom. <laughs> Everything's next to the <laughs> toilet. <laughs> the internet's so silly. Um, okay, I think, no. I think honestly, I kind of like the open shower. But, it, there is the fact that you can't woohoo in it. But that's okay. We don't need to let that stop us. We can do whatever we want. Oh, that kind of looks like waves. That's kind of cool. I don't know. Okay, I don't know where to put my picture of my turtle. Mm. Which shower can you woohoo in? Any of the showers that have like, that are enclosed. So obviously you can't woohoo in this one, but you can woohoo in any of the other ones. Um, if you have university, it's a university pack feature. Oh, my turtle looks silly everywhere I put it. No, it's better like this. Inspirational photo over the toilet. Yeah, but I feel like it's kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I'll place it. Do you think that's okay? I wish that my turtle had not that frame. <laughs> I wish that my turtle had a better frame. A little bit higher in the middle of the wall. You think it, you want it to be even higher? Okay. I would love, I mean, I've used enough kits already, right? Do you think I can use the new bathroom paper, toilet paper? It's just so much nicer because it's more modern. Place a glass panel next to the toilet, like here? I think we need to remember that it's like a wet room, kind of. Like everything is gonna be wet in here. Um, so it's okay. Uh, maybe I will put this not next to the toilet just so that we can have some more space so nobody gets upset. I don't know. <laughs> Pearl Bumpelina Cap, thank you for the subs. It's also The Sims, so it doesn't matter, um, which is another bonus, I guess. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Well, if I'm already using this kit, maybe I can use the light switch from that kit as well. <laughs> Uh, where's the gas? The glass from? The glass and the shower are both from Snowy Escape. The hanging soap thing from the clutter kit? That's an idea. I do like that item. But do you feel like it's like... Too much over here? I don't know. The other problem is that um, if I wanted to do like... A tile or something in the shower... With the way that I have organized this, I could also just make it small, but then it's not as cute. I don't know, I feel like uh, I want it, I wish I could have half tile wallpaper. Like if I could put it up to there. <sighs> Spa day walls for the whole room maybe. Yeah, we could tile the whole room. That is an idea. Spa day, spa day. Which one? Do you know what? The vibes of that are kind of nice with the green. 
Maybe I could do that and then have white curtains. I feel like that's really beautiful, honestly. I do think that my uh, turtle looks kind of random. I will say that much. I, I will acknowledge that my turtle is kind of a strange choice. I don't know. Am I going to stream the sim stream tomorrow? Do you know what? People keep asking me that. I feel like I've, um, I keep saying this, but I feel like we've set a weird precedent because I streamed one reaction to a sim stream. Um, people like expect me to stream all the sim streams now. I've never streamed, like restreamed um, one of their live streams for like pack content. Uh, Cause this, it would be really awkward. It's going to be them talking for like two hours probably. Um, so I don't really know, it would be like weird for me to talk over it, like it's just, I, it's not really the kind of thing that I would, um, also make content about, you know, like it just, it seems more suited for, um, us watching privately and then discussing or something. Um, you can host streams on Twitch, Christine. Um, so we all host it, but their stream is tomorrow, but like three hours ago, if that helps you, it's going to be tomorrow at... Uh, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Um, maybe I'll put this over there. Others are streaming it? Okay, that doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I'm telling you that I think it would be awkward. I've never co-streamed an official gameplay stream before. It's not something that I'm interested in doing, so. Um, I don't really care what other people are doing. I don't really want to do that, so. <laughs> Uh, I'm really excited to watch it, but I, that's not the kind of thing that I would ever co-stream. I've never done that before. They've done so many of these. They do one for every gameplay pack, and I've never done a co-stream for it, so. Um, okay. I think, uh, high school years. I kind of liked this little rug. Not that, well, I like that because it's kind of beachy, but probably not for this particular room. I don't know if I like that or not. Should I put curtains? Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna stream after it. Um, we're, I always go live uh, at the same time every day, so I'll, I'll go live as soon as the stream's over and stuff. Um, which will be really fun, but obviously I don't really have intentions to stream it, so. Robes are a good idea, I like that. Cute plan. Um, oh, do you know what else? Like this kind of thing, like these little sort of items make for cute and kind of cozy decor. That's definitely a darker yellow wood, but I guess it doesn't matter. Will I talk about it in the stream tomorrow? Like the, the live stream they're gonna do? Yeah, probably. Um, again, I feel like I should remind you all that these live streams that they're gonna do, so to give you an, if you've never watched one, let me try and give you an idea of what to expect. Obviously, I don't know exactly what's gonna happen in the stream because I haven't seen it, but um, typically in these live streams, they're gonna be live for like two hours and they're probably gonna start off by showing off a lot of the base game updates. We're probably gonna see a lot about infants tomorrow. They're probably gonna be like, look, here's what comes in the base game with infants. Um, here's all the new stuff. Here's some of the new infant base game build mode. Here's the gameplay of infants. And then they'll probably switch into the pack. Probably be like, here's the world. Here's what it looks like. Here's each of the neighborhoods. Then they'll probably be like, here's what comes for infants in the pack. Um, here's some other gameplay for other ages in the pack. <laughs> um, they're probably gonna do it like that. Um, so people, I, I feel like this is a lot of you guys' first time ever hearing about one of these streams based on the questions that people are asking me constantly um, from the last few weeks, but um, I've never made a video on one of their gameplay live streams before because in itself, it's like two hours of content, 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 content. They're gonna tell us like a lot of the stuff that comes in the game. So I don't really know how to make a video on that because it, it would be like me just repeating what they said. It would be two hours long. Like there, it's too much to unpack. So more likely is I'll just wait to make videos on the game until I can make early access content on the game, you know? It's only a couple weeks away, so. Um, 
but it's gonna be like a lot <laughs> in their live stream tomorrow, um, if that makes any sense. So, um, okay, I like that bathroom, I think. I don't really know what else to add. I don't think I like the turtle. I wanna like the turtle, but I don't like the turtle. Um, and you can watch the stream on their channels. So like on their Twitch channel, on their YouTube channel, um, and it's gonna be tomorrow. So you can go follow them on Twitch now so that you get notification when it goes live. And obviously you can watch it after it's over and stuff. Um, okay. Okay. Um, it should be at two o'clock Eastern time. Again, I highly recommend that you follow them so that you get notified. <laughs> Um, that way you'll know for sure. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, oh no, I deleted it. You're going to miss it? Well, you can watch it back once it's over. Um, obviously a lot of people are going to be like at work and stuff tomorrow, um, when it first goes live, so they won't be able to see it live, but obviously you can watch it back once it's done. It's just going to live on their Twitch channel. You can go back and watch like the one from the werewolves pack still to this day if you wanted to, so. Don't worry. <laughs> There will be like a replay of it, so. I wanna use these, I just don't like the wood, the, the black frame at all. Um, okay. Time is it again, East Coast? It should be at two o'clock Eastern time, Commander. If you ever have questions about these things, really good idea would be to like check the Sims social medias too, if you're ever like wondering and you forgot, cause they always post about it on there, so. Hopefully that will help you if you forget. Um, what do you think about that combo? Is that too much of the same color? Maybe. I don't think I care though. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Maybe we could do like, oh, maybe I could use these pretty pictures over here because then I can still use them and it also fills up this wall space, but the black isn't as jarring like in the room. Because I kind of like how that looks, honestly. Okay. What is this for? Like a challenge for fun? It's just for fun, Fossil. I I'm just building this because I wanted to build a vacation home. I'll probably use it for my Sims, but I, I'm just making it, making it for fun, so. Um, okay, I don't really know if I need to have, like, I don't know. I guess I didn't really prepare myself for if I wanted to have a dresser in here. Oh, maybe I could use one of these little ones. That could be okay. And the tiny living stuff actually matches pretty well, so <laughs> that's probably fine. Um, okay, yeah? Maybe I'll use the tiny living stuff by the... Nightstands for the bed, maybe? I don't know. We can get like a really pretty seating area out here. I think I want to do... Should I do the wood again? Or is that so much wood? That's so much wood. Okay, probably not. What else do we have from Island Living? Island Living. I scrolled past it. Um... <laughs> we also have this, but I don't know if that's like totally random or not. It's kind of random. The leafy wallpaper? I guess that's an idea. I wish that that wallpaper was... I don't know. I think I wish that it... If it was like not the paneling and if it was the whole wall, I would feel more inclined to use it right now. I don't really like the colors of it. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, Gem, I don't know when we're getting early access. Obviously I will get early access, but uh, to give you guys sort of some understanding of how it usually works, um, they've done in the past 
way before COVID, they would do these like in-person events where they would fly people out to play the game early at their studios. Obviously it doesn't happen anymore because of COVID. It didn't happen this time, it's not a thing. <laughs> uh, I didn't like secretly go anywhere, obviously. Um, then they started doing this like this, where they would give us like a separate version of The Sims 4 in our game library that had the update and the pack so that we could play it and film early. Hasn't happened yet either, don't worry. Um, but the real early access, like the kind where I can just play with my Sims, you can't get early access to any pack until um, the update is out. Because the pack doesn't work without the update. This goes for all packs, even like the kits. It doesn't work without the update. Which is why the kits usually come out like two days after the update and stuff. There's always an update before a pack comes out. Um, so uh, no one can have early access until the update is out. So usually when we get early access for real and like when we get the pack, will be like the day of the update. Um, which, you know, obviously is the same day as the infants are coming out. So <laughs> uh, there's a lot, a lot going on uh, that week, I suppose. Maybe I'll do this, but not have that rug. Maybe I'll get a different rug. Um, okay. But yeah, so no one can play until the update is actually out for real early access, so. I don't know what sort of rug I would like to use. That's too patterned. Um, I don't know. Made a mistake in launching infants so close to the pack. I, Ren, I kind of agree too. Um, obviously I don't like, I don't know. Uh, I think the pack is probably gonna have a lot of heavy focus on the babies. But it feels like they're, the, the two things aren't gonna have like separate moments, you know? Because the infant update is gonna come out so close to the pack. They aren't gonna have like, you know, like I said, separate moments where like we can focus on these two things individually. Um, they're gonna sort of blend together a little. It'll be a lot all at once probably. Um, what do you think about that? I think it's kind of nice. Marketing strategy? You think it's a marketing strategy how they released it both at the same time? I mean, yeah, <laughs> they're using infants to market the pack, but um, infants are also a huge feature of the pack. So, I don't know. Okay, lighting. <sighs> Thinking about it from my perspective with video content, I'm like, oh my God, it's gonna be a busy couple weeks. <laughs> I'm like gonna have so much to cover um, all at once. Like, so for me, it's very overwhelming. I think for the player, it's probably just exciting. Cause like, oh, the pack is out in two days after the update, we get to play it so soon. But for me, from like a, a video coverage standpoint, I'm gonna have, it's gonna be a lot, a lot. So um, that'll be interesting, I guess, to say the least. Um, I don't know if I like those or not. Ew. Maybe I'll use these ones. Just a two day buffer period. Yeah, exactly. It ha it's all gonna happen so fast, um, which is a little bit overwhelming to me. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. We're in that weird phase right now where I'm like kind of trying to plan out what sort of videos I would like to make but obviously I haven't like seen the gameplay of the pack for real yet until tomorrow. Then we can really talk about it more tomorrow. But I, I like, I don't really know what kind of videos I'm gonna be able to make. Cause like, I've not seen what is coming. So I'm kind of like guessing, trying to plan. That was always the hardest part about um, when we would do the like events at EA, which was obviously the coolest thing ever. We would get to like fly out there and um, and play the pack there. And it was like the most amazing, miraculous thing in the world. But it was really hard for me to plan for because usually when we would do those events, it would be way earlier, like way more in advance. Um, not like super far in advance, but it would have been like, you know, maybe like last weekend or whatever um, before they've done a public live stream. So we would get there but we wouldn't know what was coming in the pack until we were there. And then they would kind of tell us a little bit, but it, it was like, I don't know how to plan out what I'm gonna try and make 
because I don't know what they're going to give us, <laughs> you know? Like, I didn't really know how to plan for that, having not seen it, so that was kind of hard. Um, and with Island Living, they did early access for Island Living at EA Play. It was like a physical, um, think of it like a like an EA convention, basically, around the same time as E3. Um, and they did early access for Island Living for us at that. And at that, they dropped the, the Island Living trailer at the event. So we knew there was an expansion pack. We didn't even know what kind of expansion pack it was gonna be because they hadn't told us. <laughs> so we like, we flew out there to California to play this pack and like film videos. But how do you plan what videos you're gonna film if you don't know what pack it's gonna be? <laughs> and then they show the trailer like in person um, to everybody. And then they were literally, they showed us the trailer and then they said, okay, go. Picture like a big, cause they had other games doing stuff too, not just the Sims at this. Um, picture like a big giant like room, like cafeteria sized room. And they play the trailer on a projector screen. And then they're like, okay, start. Okay. <laughs> I'll, tr I'll try and make early access coverage of a pack that I haven't seen. Like, how am I supposed to, <laughs> how are you supposed to know what to film, you know? And then it's like, you have four hours and that's the only time you get with the pack ever to film with it. And obviously you want to make like a comprehensive video and like show off everything, but where to begin? <laughs> anyway, I'm not complaining. Obviously, it was a great experience, but it's just an interesting, it's interesting how different it is now that you, that they're letting us film stuff at home. Um, cause we have so much more time to, to do stuff and prepare for it and everything. Um, and also when we filmed there, we weren't able to, um, we weren't able to use like any audio or anything. Cause you can't film audio in an auditorium type room where everybody's talking. So we, I'll just get gameplay footage. I make a lot of like speed builds and stuff from those. Um, I don't really know if I like this or not. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. I don't think I like that. Is there any little like things? Needs candles. Oh, candles are cute. Oh, that's great. Okay, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Wait, lighting. We can try and use some more candles outside too. Oh, the outside's gonna be a nightmare for us to decorate. Oh, I like that. The VIP bucket. Oh, that's true. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um. Nor gameplay unlocks entitlement. Okay. Bucket. That gives you romantic aura, which will be very, very useful when you're trying to flirt and such. Oh, I like that. We have a lot of buckets, don't we? <laughs> Interesting. I feel like that's quite nice. I don't really know how much more to put. Let's just work on this part too a little and then we can go from there maybe. Um, I think I might raise this up. Oh, probably not raise it up one whole thing, but maybe a little bit higher. I don't know. What items did that come in? Oh, that's a base game thing. That's, um, that item is like from the, it's a date reward in the base game. So if your sims go on dates, they can get that. Candles on the balcony. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Oh, can't really use that. Okay. Bucket where the seats are and the candle on the dresser. Oh, maybe. I don't really like how that candle looks there though. I mean, it might be more realistic with the bucket there. Yeah. I just don't know if I like how I think we need to s alt place it. Yeah, that's fine. Music? Oh, that's an idea. Okay, one step at a time. <laughs> Two loungers? That's also an idea. I, I feel like, I don't know if they'll fit that well up here, so we need to be careful about that. Does this fit when it's sized? 
No. Okay, the lights that I was trying to use looked stupid. So, I wanted to do these. Maybe I could get these over here. I guess if I size them up. Hello. That would be pretty, right? I think so. I had a really hard time with them over here because I wanted them to look like they were like touching the, this, this is why I don't want to use them. See that? And I guess I could like alt place them. It's just annoying. Does that line up? Maybe I can leave it like that. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. That's an idea. Do we need something that like goes on top of the front door now? That it's like so... Half walls aren't painted? No walls are painted, Sammy. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's not a single painted wall in the whole build right now. Don't worry. Do not worry. Okay. Maybe I could do like a little platform sort of vibe. That would be okay. I think at least. Um, all right, interesting. Okay, what sort of furniture would we put out here for them? Like, we talked about lounge chairs, but I feel like they're a little bit too big. So probably not the lounge chairs. I'll probably put those down there. I haven't done this yet, so ignore. Um, fire pit's an interesting idea. I thought about putting one of those down there too. So I don't know if, I don't know. What if we did, hold on. Love seat. I put a chair down there first and it fit really weird. Wait, let me see if I can show you. I had a chair. I wanted to do like chair on either side kind of vibe, couch I should say, on either side kind of vibe. But you can't use the big ones because it clips into the door. So maybe if we had a skinnier chair, couch thing. What colors do you come in? Ooh. Do you think that's weird to have twice? Because actually that's kind of beautiful. The original thought that I had was if we put, um, you know that city living coffee table? It's very modern, so I don't know if it'll look that good with these chairs. But this coffee table from city living has, it's like a fireplace. Oh, does it not come in all white? Well, that's so annoying. Oh my god, this game is stupid. Okay, well, look, this thing... Um, it's, see how it's got fire in there? It's not a real fireplace, but it looks cool, right? I think the color looks kind of nice, to be honest. Okay, let's use it. Let's get a plant. Or two, or three, or whatever. Oh, this wall plant could be nice somewhere. Um, I don't know. Is that random? Maybe. Oh, that looks bad. I don't know. Give me a second, we'll figure it out. <laughs> so annoying to place stuff with how the, um, the roof is there. Um, I don't know. In a bathroom, maybe? I guess that could work. <laughs> Amazing Grace, Queen Bee, and Heck, thank you for the subs. Okay, perhaps we could do like, honestly, bamboo's kind of cute, but I think I want it to be bigger. Um, oh, I would like that to be honest, but it's clipping. Well, 
How much do we care that it's clipping? I don't think it's that noticeable. There's a thing on the ceiling, so... I don't think we care that it clips. Okay. Um... We have a lot to figure out. Maybe I'll start working on the outside for real now. <laughs> Let's start- we'll, we'll come back to the layout and stuff in a second. Let's start, like, actually thinking about the outside. Cuz... We're gonna need to do a lot. Oh, the cat's being so cute! Island living. I love to use a bunch of these, like, pretty low-lying bushes. So we can kind of use them to add to the space a little. Um, maybe just in the front, though, and not, like, too much in the outside or in the side of it at all. Fire pit at front? Maybe! I sort of thought that in the front, I would do some, like, um... I don't know, I was gonna try and use this beach area to put, like, some beach towels and stuff. Is kind of what I was envisioning. Okay, I like that. There are some really pretty trees that have, like, some kind of pretty colors, but I also want to do a lot of palm trees, so... Okay, that's very um, annoying, <laughs> probably. Uh, how about there for that palm tree? I don't know, we can get some of these big ones. I wish that we had like... Because I don't really like the size of those two, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think about that? What is- from the gallery it's gonna be blocking a lot of the front of the house. Oh, that's okay, actually. Add a grill? We have one in the back! We have like a whole outdoor kitchen in the back. But we haven't done much to the back except for that part. This is all work in progress. Um, okay. I just love all these little plants. I think they're so beautiful. Uh, kind of clipping. So nice. Okay, how about we put like... That like that somehow. And then maybe we could do one of the small little trees from Island Living. Pond maybe? Oh, like add a separate pond? There's not enough space for one. But a bigger issue is that we physically cannot place something like that because you can't do terrain manipulation um, on these lots. So we wouldn't be able to, even if we wanted to, or if we thought it would work or whatever, we, we wouldn't be able to use one because it doesn't let you. Should I try this little tree? I do think that's quite cute, to be honest. Oh, I like the blue flowers. A shark pond? That would take up the whole place! What are you guys talking about? How much space do you think we have? <laughs> I told you I wanted to put beach towels out here and stuff, and now you're trying to get me to put a shark pond? That's not even like... <laughs> Look at how big it is! <laughs> There's an ocean! Why are we trying to add in water? Oh my goodness. Controversial opinion, not all lots need a shark pond. Whoa, Christine. That is a brave thing to say, to be honest. Are you sure you want to say that? Yikes. <laughs> Laura C, Amazing Grace, thanks for the subs. We have some luxury beach towels. I want to get from, um, just in general, from Island Living, I don't know why I couldn't find it when I scrolled, but I was looking for like... There's um... Oh, it's this. I don't know, maybe that doesn't fit that well with this. I was gonna see if I could use it as like coverage over these, but it probably doesn't fit. Maybe these can just be out. Um... 
What color? Should I do them kind of like funky towels? I don't know. Umbrella? Oh, an umbrella might be kind of cute, actually. I hadn't really thought about that. Hmm. I guess they're underneath a tree, though. We can use this umbrella on this patio. Okay, I like that. What if we got a couple little things to look like people had been laying here? Like, oh, what if we got some sunscreen? <laughs> Honestly, we're probably going to need that. So <laughs> sunscreen, maybe like a book. The water bottle is a cute idea too. Maybe I'll give this sim a water bottle. Isn't there like a basket of towels from like laundry day or something? This summer fun basket. Maybe we try and use that. It's from Seasons. I don't think I want to put too much here. Cause like, I don't know, it is right outside the house, so. I think that looks kind of pretty to be honest. Okay. Uh, should we do like debug rocks or something? Like, oh, a radio. That's what I did last time I did a beach like this and I loved that. That's a great idea. This is definitely gonna break um, if it rains, but that's okay. It's all about um, the vibes. Maybe I'll just use a regular one. I don't know. Is that one a weird one? This one looks like the kind of thing that you might bring out. You love the cat radio? Okay. Okay. I like that too. I think that's nice. Umbrella over the radio. It won't make a difference. Um, the umbrella will still like, it'll still rain on it with the umbrella item. BB.show hidden objects. BB.show live edit objects. Okay. Debug. Now I'm excited for my Sims to go on a honeymoon. Yeah, we'll put a speaker outdoors uh, in the other areas too, at least. I just haven't gotten to that part yet, so I'm holding off, but... Okay, so here's my thought. Um, maybe we could do, like, some little rocks. Kind of to make a custom pathway of sorts. Um, to fill in some of this area. I don't know. I thought it would be good. Um, size that down maybe? I don't know how, where it should go. I know that there's an island living debug one, but I don't like the color of those stones. They're a little bit darker than these. Um, so I'd prefer to not use that one if po- oh. Oh. It's not flat. <laughs> so the rock is floating because the ground is is uh, sinking. I might be able to do this. Let's see how far I can take this over without it floating. I might just need to put it in a different place. Okay. So that's floating. Are you used to rain tools? You can't use to rain tools on these lots. Um, you can't do that on the ocean lots in Island Living. So that's not a possibility for us, unfortunately. It would be cool, obviously, if we could, but 
Um, yeah, you can't use the terrain tools on these island living laws. They'll walk on these fine, yeah, Samantha. You'd be surprised. The Sims are, uh, there's actually quite a few things like this uh, in The Sims 4, and The Sims use them just fine. A lot of the debug stuff they don't regard as being real. Um, but... No, you can use terrain paint. You just can't use terrain tools, like these things to raise the terrain. It says not available on water lots. You can do terrain paint, um, but not, not the terrain tools, like to flatten the lot or whatever. Um, makes sense. Yeah, I mean, because it's uh, very specific what it needs for it to work with the water and everything, so they don't let you. You also can't have basements or pools on the water lots because um, it like digs into the ground. You can't dig into the ground here, which also makes sense. <laughs> In real life, you also can't, you could not have had a basement here on this lot that would um, flood every day. <laughs> a lot of houses obviously are built on stilts when they're on the water like this because of, you know, water levels and everything. Um, okay. Okay. I think that that is nice. We obviously have not painted this house yet. Um, can I hide the trash can over there, maybe? Sorry, you're recommended. Oh, hey, thanks for coming by. I'm glad. Okay. Um, so I was thinking about just painting it white, to be honest. That was like the initial idea that I had had was for it to be like very white and black. Uh, white and wood, sorry, not black. <laughs> Obviously there's no black on this. I thought it was gonna be very like white and, and wooden initially. Is there a cuter mailbox? We can look. Oh, I deleted my clutter. That's so annoying. Um, we'll try and make this so beautiful, just you wait. Some stone to tie in some gray. Maybe. I'm a little bit unsure of what I want it to look like with the gray. I don't know. I might use it as like the accent color on some of this. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, yikes. Maybe I'll do wood. That would, that would maybe work. I don't know. I also want to put like, oh, so annoying. So annoying. Yeah, I know the wall up here isn't painted either. Um, I don't know what I want the roof to look like. I feel like I'm really unsure of all this. How about if we did like something flat. What about a creamy white, like for the walls? I guess it maybe could. Um, I worry that if it's like sand colored, it'll really blend into the sand, <laughs> you know? Gravel roof maybe? Oh, I like the idea of the gravel. I don't think I wanna do grass. Um, I think that, do you know what? I saw this TikTok, I said it to my mods last night. I saw this TikTok that was making a joke about um, architecture students resisting the urge to do like green roofs everywhere when they're when they're making stuff for projects <laughs> and they like I show all these pictures of their grass roof projects and I sent it to my mods and I just said simmers <laughs> because we are all the same <laughs> every time we do a build in the same my whole chat's like what if you put like a grass roof what if you put like plants up there <laughs> like that, to be honest. That looks kind of good. Um, I don't know. What do you think? It's kind of beachy, I guess. I think I won't do it on this part. I think that on this part, I might make it like a, a wood of sorts. Maybe white though. What do you think? Is it horrible? Um, okay, this is 
kind of annoying, but I need to do... Ah! Maybe a stone accent wall. I don't know if I like a lot of the way that the stone looks, but maybe. We'll see. Okay. No, wrong height. So annoying to get these little pieces. Okay, and delete. I have to basically make it a room so I can do it there because I don't want to have it be on um, the whole wall, just there. Uh, maybe I'll try like, I actually kind of like the gray line right there. Love how it deletes the paint on half walls, amazing feature. Uh-huh. Uh <laughs> I, I just love how it deletes all the paint that I placed, you know? One of my favorite parts of this game. How it just deletes all the stuff that I had done. You know how long we've had half walls and it still does that? I just love it. It's just so nice. What a, what a nice little feature they've added. <laughs> half walls are so weird. It, it, half walls and platforms are both weird, but I think like half walls... The way they behave is so bizarre sometimes. Um, okay, I like that, I think. I don't know what we'll do with this part yet. I might actually continue this up. I had used it there on the side. I think it maybe looks cool. I don't know, let me see if I can get some columns. Just as like a little Little bonus, maybe? There's not a lot going on over here, so. Yeah, we don't have any windows on that side, so. Okay. Interesting idea. There's nothing on this part either, but that's probably okay. I don't know, the side of the house is ugly, but. We'll see. Once we get some more stuff out here, it'll start coming together more. Do the gray brick behind the triangle windows, like on the whole wall. I don't think I want to do any like solid walls of gray. Um, I think that it's too much. I like, I like it being all white. I know that might be controversial, but I kind of like it being all white, so. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. I think... Hmm. Maybe we could get like a big plant. Can we get an inside tour? Once it's done, I'll show you around everything, I promise. Um, I want to make sure I before I like get too distracted, I finish it. This is too big. I always have a hard time using this because it's like so enormous. I don't know. Maybe we could get like some of the jungle adventure ones. I don't know. That thing's nice and it's big, which is cool. There is that like, this banana tree is kind of pretty. Do you know what? We should definitely use this in the backyard. Because we don't really have a lot of plants back here, obviously. Because, well, backyard is maybe a strong word. So we should definitely try and use this back here. Maybe I'll put it, like, towards the corner. Yeah, I think that's so nice. Yeah, the lighting is broken on this indoors. I don't understand why this happens with so many plants, but so many of the plants that EA makes like glitch when they're inside. Um, okay. Maybe if we had, um, I don't know which plant to use. Maybe this one. That one's kind of a safe bet, isn't it? It's nice and leafy. Yeah? And then what if we just did a couple chairs in here? 
Definitely the Christmas tree. You know what? I think you're right. I probably should go back and use the Christmas tree for it. I think you've got a good idea there. Should we just do like... Honestly, maybe just the two chairs so they could sit there. Okay. Let's think about the back for a second. All right, chat, because this is where it uh, gets scary. Let me use some of the island living wood too. Maybe I'll wait. I have it right there. Right? That's cool, maybe? I kind of like it. Very cool. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. I like that thing there. That's cool. <sighs> All right. We've placed a few items that we know we want to use, but I've not really decided how I want to lay this out yet. I'm thinking that I might put uh, like some sort of dining table up here on this part because I feel like the top porch, this is like where the outdoor kitchen is. So I think a dining table makes sense. Maybe I'll do, we could do more chairs. We don't really need four because only two Sims are gonna be eating here, but I'm, I'm trying to think very honeymoon. Like it's, it's just the two of them, you know? Oh, we could put the candles on it. Do you think glass dining table? We could maybe use a glass one instead. Uh, I don't like a lot of the, the glass ones are kind of plain. This one's kind of nice though. What do you think about that? Is that random? If they have a dinner party with the couple next door, there you go. Okay, so we need a big, a big table <laughs> for dinner parties. Always use the Get Famous one. The Get Famous one's one of my favorite tables. It might it might fit better here. I always feel like it doesn't look like an outdoor table. But maybe it does. Maybe the, I mean, it looks good with the wood, so. We can just use whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Glass in the sun, oh yeah, that's true. It would be hot, but eh. <laughs> It'd be easy to clean, right? I think glass in the outdoors is probably for the best, honestly, because you can wipe it down so easily. Again, it is The Sims, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, but if we like it, then... That's all that I care about. Lots of seats. There are a lot of seats out here, yeah. Do we like that? I can't tell. I don't know if I like those... Maybe I'll make them all one color. That looks better, I think. Sun wall decoration. Oh yeah! There's that little, um, in the base game, there's that little sun. That could be kind of cute. <laughs> I kind of like it. I always forget about that thing. Stanley jump scare. Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I was using him, um, to test it or to change the light colors or something. I, I'm not gonna do anything bad to him, don't worry. He's just here. Just here to help me out. Okay, maybe if we got like some of the grill stuff. Okay. I used this little drink tray on that table. What if we got one of the other drink trays over here? That would be kind of nice. Lots of drinks that you can get and stuff. Hot tub, hot tub. Yeah, we're gonna use a hot tub. I've got it in my inventory. I don't like the rug. Oh, I have to put these back too, because it deleted them when I... I had like custom alt place them, but they that's why they deleted, so... The fact that you're openly stating you're not gonna do anything to him makes me think you're gonna do something to him. No, I'm not gonna harm Stanley today. He's just who was there. Hmm. Okay, anyway, I'm not gonna do anything, I swear. 
today. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I yeah, yeah. That's a suspicious thing to say. Whatever. So before I had done this with the um the hot tub. I thought that was like so cool. I don't really know if I want it to be there on the edge. Like I'm I'm kind of struggling with Oh, weird. Kind of struggling with where I want to put this stuff. I guess we also probably want to have like a fence. It could be another step down. I guess that's an idea. I'd have to, um, maybe I have to put it on this side then for it to be another step down so I have more space. I like all the separation of it. It's kind of interesting. Oh, wait. One, two, three. Terrain on this lot type cannot be modified. Foundation elevation out of bounds. Oh. Okay, it just has to be a certain number of stairs for it to work. <laughs> uh, that's all. Okay, make this wider, perhaps? I mean, it's cool. It is interesting. It is floating. <laughs> There's a lot happening. The question is, what are we gonna do with this? Like, I feel like I wanted to have, um, have I saved recently? Oh, probably not. I wanted to have like some lounge chairs So now I'm starting to think that maybe I've made this like a little bit too big. Maybe I need to make it smaller. Like a little bit skinnier. A little dance floor. Would they even, <laughs> this is the thing like, do my Sims actually need a dance floor? Or are we, oh my God. The repainting of half walls is so annoying. Oh, we were gonna do couches. That's right. We were gonna do like couches with a bonfire, weren't we? Oh, that's right. Or at least we thought about it. I don't know if we're actually gonna do it. We also need to put like access to the water from here. Let me go. It's in like the water stuff section. Yes? No? No. Let me filter by island living. Island living. Hey, Salty, Ava, Plex, and Alt, and Mar, and Dark, and Jessica, and Steph, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. This thingy. This is like how they access the water. Wait, let me place this without move objects on. That's on. <laughs> I'm gonna place the move objects off, cause then we'll know like, it definitely works. You know? Oh. Oh, weird. Should we leave like that much of it open then? I guess? Hmm. Is that how they jump in? Can they? Oh, yeah, so he needs space so he can jump off. Okay. Maybe, hold on. Let me think about this for a sec. Maybe I could try to like extend this out. Like maybe, should we give them like a, Oh, I guess I can't really do it like that, can I? We need space. Okay, stop, never mind. I don't know. Let me just get my lounge chair so we'll come back to it. <laughs> Let's just get more decorative stuff and then we'll come back to it. Lounge chairs. I was gonna use the umbrella, maybe. 
cat is being so cute. Oh, hate. Forgot the reason I never. I was thinking like, oh, maybe I'll use this umbrella because I never, I never use it. Hmm. There's a reason you never use it. Yeah, maybe the whole front of this could be open to the water. That might make it look less weird, right? We could also do like, maybe we could do the whole corner without it. Perhaps. Oh, that's pretty. I love that light blue. Okay. Um. With floor lights where the fence was? Yeah, that would be cool. I like that idea. We can try and add some like fancy stuff in. Uh, Pax Island Living. I want like a little tiny table. Like this one. Oh. Scoot forward. Honestly, if these came forward, they would take up more of the space, which is probably for the best, so. Infinity pool could be cool. Yeah, so we can't really put pools here. Um, earlier we tried, like, we had this idea that maybe we could try and put, like, a hole in the foundation and pretend that it was, like, a pool. It just, we decided it was kind of weird, so we, we ended up not doing it. Um, but we've, we've talked about a few things like that now. A few ideas like that. Okay, I kind of like that. Should I do something like this? I feel like it's pretty. I don't know. More plants. Fairy lights would be cute somehow. We have some fairy lights here. I'm not sure how much we should, I don't know. I feel like this deck is just so big. I don't really know what, to, <laughs> sorry. I don't really know what to add to it to fill it in. Uh, maybe I could use the tiny lights from the, kid I didn't mean I didn't mean that I just I realized what I had said and then I listen yoga mats are a good idea crispy chat thanks for the socks oh no okay okay I'm just trying to place my little lights why are these not Should we do it like that? I feel like it, I don't know. What looks weird? Christine, why would you assume that? Oh my God, dirty mind. I'm just talking about decks. You're the weird one. Okay. <laughs> um, should I put like some more of these like that or no, maybe I'll just do it on the one side. I do like it. It is nice. Maybe I'll put like That's centered with the table, which is cool. So, oh, it looks so cool in the evening. So beautiful. Random towels and maybe towel stacks. I guess we had this little towel thing that we used in the front. I don't think I, I don't know if I like this. I wanted to like it, but I'm not sure that I do. Maybe like, no, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to put over here. I feel like it was too many plants. That's why I didn't like it. We did talk about yoga. 
And we talked about the fire pit as well. Maybe I will do the fire pit. Boat massage table. Oh, that would be kind of nice. Oh, maybe we should have put the... Wait. Is it going to be too... Big for it to be over here? Maybe. Because wouldn't that be so good? Finally saw it. No, I'd seen it before. <laughs> I just didn't think I wanted to put it anywhere. <laughs> people were saying it for a long time. I saw people say it earlier. Oh, I almost fell. Um, we'll check if that works, I guess. Um, uh, I guess the fire pits, the problem with them is that they don't really have like a good... Movie projector? Well, I had seen some people suggest movie projector, but I feel like it looks so, um, I don't know. I feel like the movie projector, while cool, is kind of, like, we have the one that came in that kit that looks very, like, homemade, and then the ones from, like, the movie pack are very, very, like, fancy, you know? table has a fake fire in the middle. Oh, I already have that. We put that fake fire there. So we did, we did do that. <laughs> um, honestly, what if there was only like the one couch and it looked out at the water by itself? We talked about yoga mats too. People keep saying that, but I like, what would we do? Put two yoga mats together? Oops, not an instructor yoga mat. Does that look like kind of boring? But if we had like one of these, even with the same fire pit, like the fire couch thing, Might be kind of nice. The yoga is a fun activity, but I don't really like how it looks. Telescope is nice too. What are you trying to kill them? Telescope. Ridiculous. I think that I don't like the yoga mats because I don't like the two things. It's like there's too many things of two. You know? Maybe on a platform. What, this? You want me to raise it? I think I like the couch. Hmm. Maybe. I feel like I can't center it. It's the problem. Because I want it, it's like, do I center it with the lights or with the stairs? I don't know. Do I use any rug at all? I don't know. There's um, some of these rugs from like laundry day, glass floor. Ooh. Oh, you might be onto something with that idea. We can have the fire on top of the glass. <laughs> That's something. I actually kind of like that a lot, to be honest. That's kind of cool. Maybe I can do another one of these little candles. That would be pretty. Scoot that back. Hmm. I kind of like that. Glass floor under outdoor dining table. Do you think that we'd be overdoing it if we put another one? Cause like, it would be cool, but do you think that like that's overdone? I think it might be too much if we put it up there too. Let's let it be like a focal point, like something fancy down here. Okay. I feel like 
sink the couch area. Well, so we could do it similar to how we've done this, but we can't like uh, sink it separately. I think that we already have a lot of platforms going on anyway. Um, so it might be weird to add in more, but. Okay, should I have used the thing with the boat? Cause we have the open water ladder that has like the, oh, this one's way bigger. There's like space for you to put. No, hold on. Transportation. Oh, if we had the aqua zip. How do you, is this like, where, how does it snap? Maybe I don't want to attach it. Maybe I'll just leave this how I had it and then we could put, what if we got ourselves just like a couple of them and we had them kind of like over, or what if we just put one? It doesn't snap, oh, okay. <gasps> Shark! A round rug on the table would look cozy. Do you know what? I had a rug there before and then I decided I didn't like it. So I got rid of it. I was using before we had this one. Maybe it's okay. I don't know. What do you think? Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is go and put um, light switches everywhere. That'll be fun. Um, oh. Well, that's an impractical place for it to be, but I'm putting it there. Sorry. Light switch. Do I have a fire alarm? You know what? I don't. Should I get one? Probably. Um, do we like the rugs that are in here? That's the other thing. I feel like this one is kind of random. Should I make it like white again, like everything else is? Oops. I like the colors, but I feel like it's it feels very heavy on the blue there, but there's no blue over here. Put a woohoo bush? Oh my God, I should. You're so right. Well, give me a sec, I'll get there. Okay, let me move this. Ah! I might be able to get some of the blue if I put curtains on this part. And that'll help. Yeah, that helps. That's very good. Oh, I like that. Bugs, that's actually a really good question. The bots, um, so yes, Moobot, like the bot is a sub, um, but it doesn't like pay for it. If, if you stream on Twitch, you can like email Twitch support and be like, hey, um, can you put a permanent sub on like my bot? And I think they let you have, is it two bots total that you can give subs to? But they can give like a permanent sub to the bots. And then I think you can pick like three accounts to give permanent subs to, but I've never done that before. But you can like ask Twitch, like, hey, can you give a sub to my bot? Cause it's a bot, not a person. And then they will. Um, so that way the bot can access the emotes and stuff. Um, and like, you know, be able to do all that without having to like pay the gifted a sub or whatever. Cause then that would be like $5 a month to <laughs> have your bot have your emotes, which is annoying. But yeah, Twitch lets you um, tell them who is a bot and who is not. And then uh, you can ask and they'll give it a sub. So I think it might be a partner perk, but um, yeah, that's that's how I have that. I didn't like, you know, <laughs> I didn't like gift it a sub or anything. Um, island living, please. I think I might try and put, um, I guess I can't really put any of these anywhere else, can I? Fine, what other stuff do we have? It's a tier three, it's like a permanent tier three sub. It's kind of the same as like what I have to myself. Like I'm, I'm subbed to myself. Obviously I'm not really subbed to myself. Like it's um, a, like a permanent sub. 
uh, it just has the sub perks and the sub badge and stuff without having to have any money exchanged, so. Um, that makes sense though, right? Because it's not a real thing, <laughs> it's just a bot. Ooh, maybe I could put this some, oh, maybe it's kind of random. It might be kind of cute to just like put it as a decoration somewhere though. Oh, I don't like the colors of it. Fives are off. Maybe I'll put it over here, just for fun. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It's just an idea. Okay, what else? I guess there's another vase. Maybe I could put the other vase in this other empty part. Those are kind of nice. Ooh, I like that color, actually. All right. I feel pretty good about this build. I guess the last thing is just um, playtesting that thingy and then any other sort of lights that we might want to include. Like I might line up some there and some here. Oh, I never painted this. <laughs> okay. Got that too? Yes, maybe? I don't know. Um, okay, I need to find a new spot for this switch as well. Maybe I'll put it by the staircase though, because that kind of makes sense. Nostalgic, we've got one of these jet skis out here. And the woohoo bush, that's right. I wanted to get... Um, I thought about putting... Maybe I'll just use like... Oh, this is kind of annoying. Cause you're gonna like see it from the front. Oh, maybe I could put it over here. Oh, that seems okay, actually. Okay. Uh, and then any sort of like decorative things that we wanna add to the front porch. Like, I always thought that I would love to use this in a more tropical build at some point. Maybe now's my chance. This could be kind of nice. Mm. Oh, the white swatch has all that pink. I guess that maybe is okay. I wish that it was just green. Like, why are you not just green? This thing is very hard to use. This is the island living world, yeah, Tam. So you, there's no lots from other worlds that are like over the ocean like this, you know? Oh, that's an interesting tropical little plant, maybe? I don't know. I could probably use some more of the gray with that. Think it's clipping? Yeah, it's clipping a little bit. I can't make it clip less without scooting it like super far off the wall. Which is annoying. <laughs> Portobello, Marls, Majest Majestic, and Kate, and Jen, thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, that plant is from high school years. We got two like outdoor type of planters with high school years. Um, grass wall thing. I guess some wall plants might not be a terrible idea on the side of this now. Huh. We had almost used this before. Oh, I don't know if I like it. What if we did like some of, no, I don't think I like that. We don't really have any vines anywhere. So I don't know if I want to, I don't know. I don't know. It's not so tropical, is it? Yeah, exactly. Maybe if there was like, Eco plant wall. I guess that thing is like really colorful though, isn't it? Maybe to, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. We had sort of joked about putting um, some sort of mural on the side of the build over here. I think that that's even too much also. I feel like all of these things just seem like kind of a random addition, you know? I don't 
know. Should we put like, maybe if we got, let me just look through all the island living stuff again. See like everything that we have. <laughs> uh, what, what do they use? Maybe we could put like, oh, I don't know. It's so tight. This space is so small. Hmm. This thing, like I don't really know what else to use. I guess there's some kind of cool, these torches like actually light up. So they, there'll be like real fire on them. Which honestly could be kind of fun to line the front yard with a little bit. Okay, that's kind of close to the plants. <laughs> fire hazard, sure, but it might look kind of cool, so. Wall mailbox. Oh, we could do a wall mailbox instead. Is are they gonna be weird about it? Like the with all the levels. I like how it's gray though. It probably doesn't need to have a ton in the front, because the back is what's more private and where you'd like probably want to actually be hanging out, so. Look, here's what the fire would look like. Hold on. Isn't that so cool? Wind chimes? Yeah, people kept saying to add in wind chimes. I just wasn't really sure, I wasn't really sure where to put them. Um. We could put some like, there in the, is that weird in the front though? Should I put it? Oh, I could maybe put it back here. Like hanging from this, that could be kind of cool. Maybe I could put some over here. How about that? I think I like that. Outdoor trash can, we have one over here. We don't have an indoor trash can, but <laughs> eh, I don't care. You know what? I like this. I think this is really nice. We used a lot of packs. I didn't think I was going to use this many packs. And then I did. So. Um, shall I upload it? Ooh, lighting looks really weird. I guess no matter what time of day, the lighting's kind of weird. It just looks dark back there. Oh, I need to make it into a rental house. Oh, I have a sim living here. Please hold, I need to kick Stanley out. I need to kick Stanley out and then we can do it. <laughs> is it the weather? No, I made it sunny, so it shouldn't be the weather. It's just that the morning is kind of dark. Final check of half wall paint? Oh, I probably should. <laughs> I probably should. And maybe save as well, yeah because the half walls keep deleting the paint on them, so. Did I add a fire alarm? No. I'm sure they'll be fine. Okay, checking all half walls. Fine, 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 fine. Okay. Should be good. I'll show you the inside while we're here. We can do a quick tour first. So when you come into the house, I put this little dining table like kind of close to the window um, so that your sims can like sit there and look at the view while they're eating dinner and obviously sit here and look at that view while eating dinner um, Aqua jet floating. Uh, yeah, it's floating on the water. It might have looked like it was floating in the sky But it's floating in the water like it should be um, And then we have this really pretty kitchen with the countertops and stuff. We've got like a little sitting area We have this private balcony for a massage um in here is like the downstairs bathroom so they can like shower after they go swimming and stuff. And then upstairs, there's just one little seating area or seating area and bedroom. They have a private bathroom here too with like some robes and stuff. I put these cool paintings. Those are like Island Living collectibles. Uh, I don't have an indoor trash can, but I don't really care to have one. So <laughs> I just won't put one. Uh, out here, we have like a little seating area too. This is like a fake fireplace. It lights up with fire. Um, and then in the back, we have a pretty dining table. There's like an outdoor kitchen here. 
with a grill and a bar. Down this way, we have this cute seating area, lounge chairs, hot tub, everything you could possibly need. I think this turned out really nice. I'm really excited about this. Okay, so uh, can I make this into a rental? Maybe I'll come here with a sim so I can get the lights on because I want the flames to be in the gallery image. That would be ideal. Okay, Stanley, oh, or Judy maybe. That'll be good. Oh, okay. Cat is off the cat cam, but she has come to say hello up close. So that's fine. <laughs> okay, now we have fire. I like how this looks. Okay. And snap said it's seven o'clock. I'm clocking out literally. <laughs> she knows I usually get off stream at seven. It's 6.59. She said, I'm done. <laughs> You've got enough from me. Um, honeymoon beach house. Yeah, one bedroom, two bathrooms. I built a little vacation rental for Sulani. This is to be placed on the, I can barely type because she's like underneath my arm. Oh wait, hold on. Let me put a lot tray on this, I forgot. Romantic aura. Okay, now we try again. <laughs> now we try again. To be placed on the pure perfection lot. Hashtag Sulani. Okay, Snap, you're really making it hard for me to type. Okay, honeymoon beach house. Yeah? Needs to be a rental. I have to switch it again? I thought I said it's rental. I did. Why is it uploading as residential? Is it because I have a sim here? It is a rental. It won't upload. Oh, I guess it doesn't upload as rental, does it? That's right. It doesn't upload like that. No, it's a glitch. Oh. Okay, well, it's a house. Sulani rental uh, beach. I don't know. Honeymoon beach house. Okay, well, you can just use it as a rental. 64,000, actually, that was like around the number that we jokingly said as a budget before, isn't it? Okay, well, I'm just gonna post it. Oh, I didn't put hashtag Lil Simsy. I usually do. I don't think it matters. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Yay! Well, that actually was timed really well. I usually get off stream right about now. I like this house. <laughs> I'm excited. In my, um, in the legacy challenge that I've been playing on YouTube, um, my sim baby Bell, who is my legacy heir, she just had a baby. And I was planning on having them get married in the next episode that I'll post on Monday. Um, so we could like get married and then come stay here. We can use it. That'd be kind of fun. I like that idea. Okay, well this has been fun. I'm glad we did this. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna build again on stream tomorrow, I think, but tomorrow we're gonna do um, a base game build for Newcrest. I don't know what I'll build yet. Maybe one of the houses, maybe one of the community lots, maybe like the gym or something. I don't really know. Oh, thank you, Snap. Um, maybe we'll do the gym for our new crest save tomorrow. Or the gym or the bar. I'm not sure yet. I'll decide. Um, but we'll do a base game build tomorrow for new crest, um, which will be kind of fun. And then what did I say I was going to do on Saturday? The Sims 3. Good. <laughs> very, very good. Um, so we'll play Sims 3 on Saturday. Very fun Sims streams the next couple of days. Um, and my cat wants me to get off stream because she's hungry, so I think I should probably go. <laughs> Broccoli, parsley, and anonymous, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, let me go see who all is live, and we shall find someone to- Ah! Let me go see Open my own stream. No one wants to hear that, little Simsy. No need to have two of me. That sounds horrible. Do you know what we should do? Um, actually, my friend Emrys, uh, just got Twitch partner, like, last week. Did Dan raid Emrys? Or is Dan just hanging out in Emrys' chat? I see Dan on Emrys' chat. Do we always raid the same people? How does this happen? <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna go. My friend Emrys K just got a Twitch partner recently. Um, 
really huge deal. I think I want to go over and say hi to Emrys. Did Dan only rated them too? <sighs> Me and Dan are the same people all the time. How does this happen? Well, <laughs> well, let's go say hi to Emrys. Um, everyone, please, you're gonna have the best time over there. Emrys is great. Um, you also probably know Emrys. If you've seen us play Among Us, um, we usually play with them too. So uh, it'll be a great time. Um, and just so you know, Emrys uses they, he pronouns. Um, and we'll go over and say hi, yeah? Okay, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Have a great rest of your night. I'll see you tomorrow for some more Sims builds. And I'll catch you later, okay? Okay, goodbye.